Moving like the speed of sound Yo, what is going on guys? Brethren here and welcome back to another video. So today, 4 jstudio slash uh, playxblob.com released 11 screenshots for us to take a look at of the plastic pack. Now before we get into this, I want to say the mobs don't really look that different. There's not that many changes as far as armor is concerned. It might look a little bit shiny as well as the weapons, which I am kind of disappointed at and we'll get into that a little bit later in the video. But as far as the blocks, guys, if we take a look at this picture, they look pretty cool. If you just look at the different ores as well as just the different blocks in general, the glowstone looks pretty cool, uh, the fences, the lava, the water, the enchantment table, the furnace, I mean all these look pretty awesome and I really like that TNT one as well. But moving on to the next one, as you can see here we have a more close up uh, look at the inventory here as he's looking at his uh, building blocks and then in the uh, background you can see kind of the various textures as well of the sand and the gravel and the uh, cobblestone moving on here though now this is where it gets a little iffy and I just I don't know I'm not really satisfied with the way they retextured these mobs but you know it is 4J Studios' first texture pack but as you can see here we got the villager we have the iron golem they pretty much look the same as far as the wood looks that looks pretty cool and the wheat over there to our right that looks pretty cool as well getting on to the next screenshot as you can see here we have the chicken and yet all these mobs the sheep the cow the pig they don't have any different textures and they did come out and say on Twitter many times in the past that they were going to be retexturing these mobs in the new texture pack but I'm just not really seeing it if we go on to the next one as you can see here now the creeper does look a little bit different but as far as the cow the sheep the dog and the uh, spider they pretty much look identical like they did before so I don't really know you know what 4J was doing as far as retexturing mobs you know they might look a little bit shiny they might look a little tad bit different but for the most part they look almost identical as to the default texture pack now if we take a look at the nether screenshot this looks absolutely awesome guys we got the nether rock up for the ceiling there that looks pretty cool as well as we have some glowstone there that kinda looks like a dice um, that looks absolutely awesome the gasp seems to be retextured just a little bit he doesn't really have those gill looking things on his side so that's pretty cool as far as the pigmen they kinda still look the same you got the nether brick as far as the uh, walkway there that looks absolutely awesome as well and it looks like that may be soul sand over there uh, kind of underneath the bridge you can see a little bit and above the bridge there to our right so that looks kind of cool as well now with the negatives aside guys as you can see here they are going to be adding some new art which that's pretty cool now some of this art has been duplicated as you can see uh, on both sides of the walls so I don't know how many paintings they are going to actually be adding but it's pretty cool to see that they have changed up the paintings in this texture pack so moving on from that guys we just pretty much have a couple random picks as you can see here now the cursor has changed as well in this texture pack that's pretty cool and a good feature and then if we move on here the jungles kinda tend to look the same as far as that and uh, maybe even the jungle wood kinda looks the same but nevertheless it still looks pretty awesome moving on guys as you can see he's in the ravine now and uh, it's showcasing the stone there on the sides of the walls that looks pretty cool kinda like the grass just a really smooth texture the different ores as well we have uh, iron ore we have uh, some coal there as well and then lava and water as well so they look pretty cool in my opinion as well as the gravel that he's standing on now moving on to the last and final screenshot guys as you can see here the moon has been retextured that looks absolutely awesome as well as the trees they do have a little bit of you know retexturing done to them as well they kinda have a little polka dot -y feel rather than that rough uh, kind of texture they had last time so anyways guys that's pretty much it for the video play x -Blod did say that uh, the cost as well as the release date is coming very very soon so be looking forward to that I'll definitely be posting a video on that and letting you guys know also though if I could take a guess at what these are gonna cost guys I would say no more than a skin pack because if we think about master packs those were 
twice as expensive as the uh, skin pack and they had a skin pack as well as they had the texture pack as well as they had a themed world and they had tracks and stuff like that playable music so in my opinion I don't think it's gonna be much more than a skin pack which is like two dollars so anyways I hope you guys did enjoy the video whether or not you did enjoy or like the plastic texture pack please do give the video a like rating it definitely shows your support and all that kind of goodness if you are new to the channel feel free to subscribe guys because you definitely don't want to miss these up and coming videos that I pretty much post on a daily basis anyways I thank you so much for watching I hope you are having an awesome day and I will see your face in the next video peace out guys